my name is Johanna. I am a college student right now. And I like writing. Honestly, I like creating in general, like literally anything. <laughs> I feel free when I do that. And I feel like everybody is a creative in their own way. We just have to, like they said, take risks and just do it. And <sighs> I'm really scared right now. <laughs> but um, I hope I don't disappoint. So this is my first poetry to ever read to anybody. So I hope you. Finally, my eyes kept open as I was never asleep. I moved my skeleton as usual, but yet so different. I had already made a decision so difficult. It wasn't something I was used to. It seemed like I never even knew you. The silence that almost swallowed me whole lately, last night exploded so violently. You, you were the one who was supposed to heal me. You were the one who would always hold me. You were the first safe place I had ever known. You were the first man I had ever called my own. And now, no, but now, I couldn't wait to leave. And I couldn't grasp that feeling of relief. So strong that it's almost excitement. All these years of us felt out of alignment. I had always defended the monster within you, even though I had always known it to be true. You deserved all they called you, all the anger you grew, all the violence you used, Hate you would always choose, but still, still I believed you were better. The glimpses of good I would expect to see later. Its frequency slowly dropped to nothing. You rarely gave all you knew was taking. All of a sudden, that fateful night, it all came clear. You, you had never loved me for me, dear. You had only adored that idea of me in that small brain. That thick skull that was open-minded, you'd claim. So that morning, I awakened feeling 50 pounds lighter. I never had to impress you again, and the future seemed brighter. As I packed up my garments into various bags, I heard something move around for the fear of facing you. I couldn't afford any lags. So I hurried, piled every single meaningless possession. It felt as if I was on the verge of escape from oppression. I know it's wrong, this place I had always called home, but you had managed to finally make me feel alone. So I had to go. I closed the door behind me for the last time, cutting ties with you, so many would consider a crime, but here's what they'll never understand. The thought of you getting hurt, I can't stand. Still, still, I love you. Always, always, I will love you. I ran into the arms of a man who I hoped would be nothing like you, but Dad, a small part of me still hopes to find you. Thank you.